Hi coaches, Ron Soiko here. In this video presentation today, I want to talk about using the shallow cut to relieve run and jump, man-to-man, -man, full court defensive pressure. I think it's a technique that can also be used against zone pressure in the backcourt, but it's really effective against man-to-man -man pressure. And what we'll do here is talk about what happens when a dribbler sees a trap, how they attack it, and then what the offensive player does that's off the ball. And then we'll also talk about the concept of using the shallow cut to be part of an overall methodology of what's called zing the ball up the floor against pressure. So our basic rule against full court man-to-man -man pressure, balls here, run and jump teams are generally double teaming the basketball. So what we're going to talk about with the shallow cut is using that off ball offensive player whose defender has left to go trap the ball, having them utilize the shallow cut to clear the floor, clear space, and create passing lanes. So in this scenario, we'll have a setup like this. The defense is pushing the ball in this direction. And the basic rule with the shallow cut is if the if you're attacking pressure and the dribbler is coming at you, you employ the shallow cut uh, to get away from that. So in this situation, the dribbler is coming right at the offensive player. Defense comes to trap. We're having the offensive player shallow cut to the opening. And as these two defenders are going, you can see what's creating a Z pattern. The ball went here. It's getting dribbled this way, and then it's zing back this way. So that's the most common method that we've used, the shallow cut, is to relieve that run and jump pressure. Now something to be aware of is, obviously you have 10 seconds to get the ball over the court, and I think that's something your players have to be have in mind and be comfortable with. So same situation. You can use the shallow cut to go towards the half court or to go in the back court further to create a passing lane. Same situation, dribbler comes over. You can make a shallow cut this direction to where the pass can go backwards. Again, you're, you gotta, your players have to be aware of where they're at in the 10 second count, but that's another way to create a passing lane opportunity using the shallow cut. This is something that we feel can have lots of value, even in teams that are running, jumping in the half court set. So let's say ball handler gets pushed here. Got an offensive player, trap. Use a shallow cut, basically replacing where that dribbler had started the dribble from replacing that spot to create a, a nice passing situation. It's either the dribbler's going to be left one-on-one -on -one if, if this guy sloughs off, or if they do trap, they've created a nice passing lane. So the basic rule of using the shallow cut is when, you're, when your offensive teammate is dribbling at you and your defender leaves to go trap the ball, you make the shallow cut to the opening, and then that gives you the opportunity to make that nice Z pattern up and down the floor to relieve pressure. You can use this man-to-man -man zone pressure. Uh, again, we we really teach this tactic against the the man-to-man -man pressure. When we've cleared the floor out, we have the ball handler in the backcourt. They're bringing the ball up against pressure, and then teams are trying to attack the dribble from that. So. We hope you like the shallow cut against pressure. I think it's a really good tactic to help that ball handler deal with those run and jump scramble type traps. Thank you.